dodging Most of your enemies right there beside you I just want my neck and wristlet with diamonds I just want my shoes and What it do always, Nigeria gang? What it do always, Nigeria scope? What? Back in the building today As usual to my loyal subscribers I would like to send a shout out to y'all I appreciate y'all so much Y'all don't even understand To those of you who are new to my channel And you're just clicking on Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share And hit that bell so you can be notified of future content So I truly appreciate you guys liking all the content that I put out And all of that um, I put some thought into You know What I post and i appreciate that you guys like it so you guys wanted me to do some more cooking segments and things like that and so i will i also like the fact that you guys uh like my style i did a, a mini you know outfit haul from like my old clothes dressing up my new body and y'all seem to like all those outfits so currently i'm trying to ignore my kids and stay in the back going crazy because one of them got the cell phone and all of that so ignore them probably gonna end up having to do a voiceover again when i do voiceovers it's mostly because my kids is like tripping or something like that or i just don't like all this background noise so currently right now i am making breakfast for the gang for the squad so i'm making this bacon this s bar naturally hardwood smoked bacon um I'm gonna make obviously some silver dollar pancakes and some scrambled eggs. Same thing Bryant wanted yesterday, except today he wants bacon instead of sausage. So I'm making that. He just cleaned up a little bit. And so I thought, why not come and talk to y'all real quick? So I'm just in some PJs. I'll show y'all how your girl looking. I'm just in some PJs right now. And I do have my faha. I actually slept in it yesterday, surprisingly. But yesterday I had a little bit of uncomfort or discomfort. So I decided to sleep in my fire. I don't know if it really helped, but I slept in it. I can say that. So right now I'm just in some PJs, little comfy PJs. Like I said, I'm in my fire. Sweet stash. And then some, um, he's actually are very comfortable some comfortable little let's see what are these uh snowmen yeah so these some of those you know christmasy pajamas but they comfortable so i wear them so yeah i'm just gonna show y'all real quick because i know i gotta give y'all a glimpse every single time okay so i'm really trying to ignore my kids i swear because they be doing the most arguing and it's really really frustrating and annoying um yeah so that's that got the bacon going and i'm about to figure out what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day uh i know i'm gonna have to do some laundry as usual probably clean the bathroom little stuff like that do some more housework which is what i do every day i may take the kids in the backyard but it's so hot y'all i think it's supposed to be 90 something degrees this saturday like i don't know about y'all but your girl don't do that type of heat i'm gonna be in the air conditioner so i don't know my kids probably gonna be mad we probably ain't going out that day i'm gonna be in the house in the his house so also bray really likes my um my Kool-Aid, but I don't, I'm not going to make Kool-Aid right now. I'm going to make a mixture of Kool-Aid and lemonade or strawberry lemonade. So this is a picture, a picture, not a picture, y'all. Uh, I got the Family Dollar. It's a one gallon, but it's one of those, it's a thin. Give me one second. So as you can see here, I have the strawberry lemonade Kool-Aid pack. You hear me? You hear me? Well, shake, shake, shake that. You, know, you got to tap it make sure you're getting it all out because your waist not want not. You feel me? You know, make sure you do a little shake. You get a little dash of water. Just a little dash. Just a little. Oh, there you go. Just a little bit. A little bit. All right. There you go. We're getting it all. We're getting it all. We need it all. Okay. There you go. A little tap, tap, tap. Open it up. Repeat the process. Sis. Repeat the repeat the process. There you go. Shake, shake, shake. Little dash. Oh, shit. That was too much. All right. All right. That was that. Now we're going to 
Look at, look at my Birkenstock. You feel me? Your girl can't get rid of these things. I love them. They're so comfortable. But anyway, back to my regularly scheduled program. Get you a nice little stirring spoon. All right. I don't know what I had dropped, but I dropped home. But it wasn't my spoon. Just so y'all know. Um, Here we going to get some dough. Okay. Can't go wrong with a little bit of Domino sugar. Or a lot. Y'all know how you can't trust nobody. Because you can't even trust the employees to package the sugar so when you open it up, it don't spill out. They just so disrespectful. I need all my sugar. You feel me? Now we just going to go ahead and get a measuring cup. Get a measuring cup. You know you got to measure it. You know you got to measure it. If you can't find a measuring cup, just go ahead and get your regular size little cup. You feel me? One of the kids cups. Psych! If you think you about to measure some sugar to put in Kool-Aid, you a shameful, shameful person. And once again, I need you out the kitchen because you a fake, a phony, a cooking imposter. I can't deal with you. You feel me? That's, that looks about enough. You feel me? That's how you do that. With the Kool-Aid, you don't, we don't measure nothing. That just it look right. That's how, that's how we do things. You look right, then it is right. That's how we gonna go. We gonna go get you some whole, fresh, frozen strawberries. This is technically what I use for my smoothies. But I go ahead and I add them into my Kool-Aid sometimes, too. I add it into my Kool-Aid. Look how big those strawberries are. Nice, good, luscious, red, frozen, fresh. Go ahead, shake. Don't be stingy, girl. And now, oh, look at that little baby speed. Walking up, sneaking up on mommy. Sneaking up. Tearing these bottles and whatnot while I'm busy. Now you're going to put this water in. All right, you're going to put the water in. Get that water. I usually use hot water, but because I was going to put it in the refrigerator for a while, I just used cold water because I knew I wasn't going to have that long to make it cold. But it's cool, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, it's all right. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. That's cold water. Y'all didn't have to know that, though. I shouldn't even tell y'all. But yeah, so it looked like it's not doing its job right. But Boy, once I, I stir it, you're going to see the drastic change in color. Once I stir it, you're going to see the drastic change in the color. And then Don't the longer it sits, the better it tastes because them strawberries are fresh and it's just going to taste so good. Now, I don't fill the whole thing up with uh, water at one time. So what I do is I go ahead and I mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, put it in the refrigerator so them strawberries can soak in and I can get that flavor. And then I go back and I top off the top of it with some more water because y'all know it's going to be sweet. So top it off with some more water that take away from that sweetness so right now we're just gonna mix 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 and i'm gonna go ahead and speed this up okay so with everything going on with the black lives movement i didn't want to use uh mrs butterworth's uh um uh, pancake mix so we're gonna go ahead with the hungry jack I'm just gonna pour 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 i realized that about this point that that pack was almost gone so i'm just gonna use it all might as well go ahead and top it off you feel me just go ahead and top it off. Now you go ahead and you add a little sugar. I mean, shoot, sugar. What's wrong with me? A little cinnamon. Go ahead and get that cinnamon up in there. Mm-hmm. Make it real nice for the family. For the family, make it real nice. As y'all can see, I got the sausages done and I got the um, bacon done. And now we just about to go ahead and we about to get some of these little uh, silver dollar pancakes going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do the first few in real time then i'm gonna speed it up because y'all know i don't feel like watching this that long so i know y'all don't feel like watching it that long so you gotta make sure that skillet is nice and greased make sure it's not well not greased but buttered because you always gotta cook your pancakes in butter not grease pancakes should be cooked in butter you can get that nice crisp on the edge they be nice and buttery and good and mm, mm, mm. you feel it so go ahead and make sure it's evenly distributed. Uh oh, here go, baby. <sighs> my bad. I had to get my baby situated real quick so I continue to do this voiceover. Anyway, now that the skillet is nicely buttered, we're gonna go ahead and pour, pour, psych. No, no, no. You're gonna go get you a ice cream scooper or a large spoon, and then you're just gonna uh, drop it there to make the perfect little silver dollar pancakes. Yes, baby. Yes. In my Austin Power voice. Uh oh, a little bit of dribbles, a little bit of dribbles. But it'll work, it'll work. It's alright, it's alright. You know what I'm saying? Don't fault me. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not, trust me. But there we go, there we go. So now you're gonna just turn up the oven because I just realized I had it too low. So now 
it's gonna start cooking up i had to reach across my bad y'all excuse me i had to get a spatula had to get a spatula you feel me i think i'm gonna do something else while this is going or maybe i'm not who knows well i guess i am going to the refrigerator for something or another don't know why but i guess we're about to find out together what is it that i'm doing in there what am i trying to get what is it you guys i don't know y'all don't know we in this together because i certainly don't remember back to when i was cooking what it was that i was doing during this time frame i see the bubbles starting to rise up in my pancakes though i do see that are you watching this sis get your butt away from that refrigerator and get back to that stove what are you doing I don't know, y'all. I'll be walking off sometimes. I'll be a little distracted. I, I don't know what I'm doing in there. Let's see. Let's see. When am I going to come back? When am I going to come back? Up. Oh, I think I'm coming back soon. There I go. Hey, girl. Hey. All right. So I think I'm going to just flip them. You feel me? Just flip these little bad boys. That one wanted to act stubborn, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? Make these boys as perfect as possible. Oh, didn't I just say I want no perfectionist? Not perfect, you feel me? But just, you know, decent. Just decent. You feel me? You want them to look presentable. There you go. Nice little flick, flick of the wrist. Nice little wrist action. There you go. Nice. Now, this one going to be a jerk, I bet you. It's always the last one that just want to not do right. See? See? See what I mean? You got to chase this little bitty thing around the skillet. There we go. You feel me? Go ahead. Pat them down. Make sure they evenly cooked. I'm about to get these things up out of here in a minute because they got to go. It's time to move on to the next little batch. Next little batch. I bet you these things don't act right. Nope. Nah. See? That's how my kids act. I got four kids and they all act crazy. All do what they want to do. You feel me? I might be able to get one to act right then the other ones. They all be doing their own thing and just acting wrong. You got to rebutter. Got to rebutter because most of that butter got cooked off and on my pancakes. So... Yes, we gonna rebutter every single right. time. I know it's time consuming, I know, but your family gonna appreciate it though. So make sure that you butter, butter, butter. And I don't care, I don't care. Y'all are trying to watch your calories, watch your weight. Don't skip out on the butter, bro. Unless you, you I mean, you can, hey, you can go ahead and get some. I can, I can believe it's not butter, or I can't believe it's not butter. Go ahead, do what you gotta do, but don't skim on the butter. I like, I can't believe it's not butter, to be honest. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now. We're going to do this again. Now, I know that y'all know how to make pancakes, but y'all probably have never tried it this way. Y'all probably be making them pancakes the size of the skillet or the size of your head. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. It cooks much faster this way. I get done much quicker trying to do it this way. You know what I'm saying? They made that little machine to make the perfect pancake. The perfect pancake. I ain't spending no money to make no pancake. Mm -mm. I'm going to use what I already got in the house. You feel me? Mm, okay. Go ahead and get in closer uh-huh and i know y'all looking like girl what's wrong with the back of them sausages we like ours a little crispy over here they still be juicy they got a little crisp to the back you feel me kind of like when you put hot dogs and sausages on a uh, grill how you just want them to have that nice little burnt mark yeah that's that's how it is that's how it is so here we go we flipping we flipping we doing the thing we doing the thing uh oh here they come back want some more snacks what's wrong with these kids Yep, I'm about to flip these two little bad mama jammas. Any day now, girl. Any day. Uh oh. That one is imperfect. Well, imperfect. I don't know where the little French accent came from, but yeah. Squish these bad boys down. And we about to take it from there, y'all. We about to take it from there. Here we go with the little flick of the wrist action with the scrambled egg boys. You feel me? Y'all see it. Y'all see it. We about to play. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay. All right. Yes, Lord. A little flick of the wrist. Get these little scrambled eggs going. You know what I'm saying? Let them cook. Let them cook. Make sure y'all add y'all cheese. See? Hungry Jack. That's that Hungry Jack you can put in a microwave if you warm it up. So you see how my pancakes just sitting out there for a little bit? Yeah. They might get a little cooled down, but you throw that hot syrup on there and them bad boys be perfectly fine. Yep. Y'all see that cheese? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Gotta get the baby's plates ready. Now, the thing is, my youngest son, I don't give him no plate yet. I just put it on his, uh his tray on his high chair because he be taking his uh plates and throwing them so yeah we don't do that we don't do that just set his food right on his uh on his tray and he be fine yeah about to dish out this food about to dish out this food equally 
amongst all of them. Um, yeah, they don't, my daughter don't too much eat too much, but my boys, they always be trying to eat. So I try to do everybody, you know what I'm saying? The same amount. So they don't be coming to complain about my daughter. She don't eat that much. So, well, she do, but she don't. Some days she be acting funny. So I should say she don't eat a lot at one time. My oldest son, I know he ain't gonna eat this watermelon, but guess what? I'm gonna put it on him anyway. Put it on the plate anyway, make him eat it. So yeah, I ain't wanna act bougie and you know, act like I be slicing up their pancakes. Cause I don't, I typically do it with my hand. I rip them bad boys apart and call it a day. They still eat them. That's how I do mine. Let's hop out in public. But anyway, um, you go. Throw that hot little sub on there. Here go the kiddos eating their breakfast, calling it a day. They arguing because they keep pulling the table okay, back and forth with them. Just bad. Just bad. Little fat daddy over there just happy. Happy his food done. Okay, as you can see, breakfast has been cooked. Breakfast has been served. And as usual, I'm only left with the bare minimal. So I got five little pancakes. No eggs, no sausage, no bacon. No nothing. I'm always giving the bare minimal. So to the trolls always talking about how much I eat, guess what? I have a whole bunch of kids and a whole man. I don't bear, did you hear that? I want some more. I don't even get this much now. Come here, okay, come on. You want some more too? You better eat your watermelon, I'm not playing with you. Here am I. Eat your watermelon. Well, I guess I'm left with nothing now. A half pancake. Literally, that's how they always do me. Literally, I just barely get anything. But it's okay. I guess I'll eat this instead. Do I really got any left right now? Yep, that's enough for a bowl. Guess I'll be eating this as I clean the kitchen, so come join your girl in that. And here we go. Special, what is this? Honey bunches of oat strawberry. We got the silk almond milk. 80 calories per serving, trolls. 80 calories per serving. Since y'all want to count my calories, there y'all go. Go ahead and pull. Top it off, boo. Top it off. You might as well top it off. Top it off. Go ahead, come back, come back, come back before it gets soggy. You know, you can't leave them flakes in there for too long. Just mix it up, mix it up. Don't mix it all up. Y'all don't want it all to be soggy now. You know what I'm saying? You just mix it just enough so that they moist. You don't want to mix the whole thing. You know what? This don't even look right. There we go. Let me fix this. Let me fix this angle. Man, this is it good? This is it good? Do it look good? Mm, mm, mm. Look good to me. Look good to me. If y'all have never tried the Special K with strawberries and mixed it with almond milk, I honestly don't know what you're doing with your life. Like, <laughs> I honestly don't know. What you doing with your life? What? What are you doing with your life? That's a serious question. Because if you ain't tried this here, baby, Listen, you missing out. You ain't living life. You just not. And now, I gotta re-clean my kitchen. Y'all know the mess my kids make every time they eat, so I gotta clean it up. Sweep them out the floors. I don't need to be running a Walgreens. So, I'm about to go ahead and bang these, like, feed my little spoonfuls, and I'll catch y'all in the next clip. Y'all, your girl is finally back. Y'all know it be taking me. I be doing all type of stuff. I'm just going through a lot. I'm dealing with a lot right now. So, I'm going to try the um, wrapping method with the ace bandage. So, elastic, I'm sorry. Elastic bandage. This one is meant for the torso or whatever. I got two of them. I got one that's a six inch and one that's a four inch. Hopefully, I only need this one. We'll see. Now y'all can get a glimpse of what it is that I go through. As I'm trying to record from y'all 
or I'm sorry, as I'm trying to record for y'all, I hear screams as usual because kids not listening and they go and they not only bust their heads, but now they scratching up their cheeks. <sighs> y'all understand. This is so frustrating. Blood, look at this, just look. Blood, blood, blood all over the clothes. This is frustrating for me. But I'm a mother, so as usual, got to stop doing what I'm doing to make sure that they're good. Get up. Don't step in the blood that's on the floor. Get up. Okay. Look at this. Head bust because he played too much. Let me just show y'all what I'm going through. Head bust here because he decides he wants to play and run around with a blanket with a blanket over his head and runs into the wall. Now here, he has a gash in his cheek because he likes to freaking play too much. He tying stuff, tying stuff up and trip over it. I don't know, it's gonna burn. It's gonna burn, baby. Sorry. You got blood all over your clothes. This is <sighs> too much. Just too much. I swear, y'all. Just too much. Having boys, you'll have a miniature heart attack every single day. I promise you. I promise you. I was about to put those stereo strips on there, but I think I'm going to just use band-aids instead so as a mother peroxide bactine for pain relief and it's a cleansing spray so you know typical every sorry y'all i know he's kind of short so well he actually kind of tall he's six but he's already up here but anyway typical everyday life of nigeria I was trying to show y'all something, and I'm sure y'all probably heard the screams. Just putting some peroxide on. I swear, when you have boys, being it, you'll have miniature heart attacks every day, every single day. Yeah, it's cleaning, so I don't know what to tell you. That's what happens when you. Just let it sit there and let it clean. Let it do its job. Let me go get you some Nia's corn so I can put it underneath this band -aid. y'all playing instead of listening. I told y'all to sit. Gotta get my handy dandy uh Get my handy dandy dial soap to this antimicrobial since I'm about to be touching into his open wound. Stop playing with the blood. Y'all, I swear, this boy be so beat up. Him. And my other son just beat up. I swear they do. Just I swear they do. The other one I had to take him to get stitches because he wanna be flipping and everything. He know he not supposed to be doing. Everything he know he not supposed to be doing, he's sitting there doing. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. 
Keep your clothes. Keep your clothes. Keep it closed, I said. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't listen. I said keep your eye closed. Why would you open it? Why would you open it? Thank you. Keep it closed. I didn't say open it yet. Keep it closed. Close your eye. Hard heads make soft butts. Y'all don't understand that concept. Truly don't. Y'all will learn one day that I'm gonna be telling y'all stuff for my health. Stop touching stuff. You're about to wash your hands. Come running to me. Ah, I bet you hurt. What did I tell you to do? Sit down. But what did y'all do? Not what I told you to do. That's why you hurt. Ah. Ain't no owl. You wouldn't be hurt if your little butt was sitting down. My Ain't no my bad. Is oh you said much better or my bad? What'd you say? Did you say much better or my bad? Hmm? Look. I see it. Did you say much better? Or did you say my bad? Much better? Good to know. Good to hear. Give you some extra padding just in case you decide to bleed out. Don't touch this. Don't you take it off. You hear me? I should make you get this blood off the floor. Y'all just want to go and, and do everything. I swear. For y'all who don't know and don't watch me, this is Amari. Amari's my oldest child. He's a six-year-old. He has autism, but he's doing much better with his disorder. Excuse me. You got it on Black Panther. And in your shorts too, Mom. You don't have to watch those. You want to say hi? Hi. You feeling better? Huh? Yes. To A. Hmm? A. Aiden what? Uh-huh. You want to go back to Aiden? Uh-huh. Aiden is in the room. A. Yeah. What's that? My bed. It's much better. <laughs> okay, it's much better. What's that? Hey, Daddy. Hmm? Where are today? You hit your head? Mm-hmm. On what? Don't touch it. Sorry, the bruise will go away. Mommy froze you some spoons to get the bruising down. 
Say bye, squat. Bye, squat. Squat. Goodbye, squat. 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 I see you. I see you. You're gonna be good, okay? Mm -hmm. Wait, are you gonna tell me your name? Bye. No, what's your name? Squat. No, no, squat is not your name. What's your name? Mari. Good job. How about big boy? I'll see you tomorrow. You gonna see me tomorrow? Uh huh. I live here. You live here. Where you going? You going to bed for the night or something? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good night. Don't be in there playing. See? Yeah. I'm not playing with y'all. I bet not catch y'all in there bumping and jumping. Untie that thing so you don't trip back over it. I'm not gonna say it again. Sorry, y'all. I had to. You know, go be a mommy because mommy ain't comes first. <sighs> Swear. All right, so I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to do. Y'all know I was in this since. Oh, let me go get my bio oil. I'll be right back. Okay, so let me just undo this. Y'all know I'm had lines in me, so I don't want to hear. Oh, girl, them lines. Duh. All right. As far as I can. So these are the products I use. Uh, as you can see, I had to buy another one because this one is almost gone. And I use this for my back. Don't ask me why. Well, you better figure out how to take it down because you figured out how to put it up. So as soon as I go back there, why do I see my other son trying to peel off the band-aids? Just bad. They done made a tent type thing as usual. And I guess he tripped. So, for y'all who don't know, I do a whole lot of self-massage because, baby, my body be hurting. So, see, a little bit, little small lumps. Most of my lumps have gone. Pull this down a little bit. I want y'all to see my whole butt, but... I'm not doing a self-massage right now. I just wanted to uh, put some creams on before uh, before wrapping myself. So I kind of just put this cocoa butter on my back and I just massage as much as I can through the pain. And yes, I know I'm having some, you can see like my loose skin but eh, if you know that doesn't bother me and it looks more pronounced because i have like this pushing it up but it's not as pronounced typically but hell i'm a mother of four so that's how it looks from the side it's not i mean it's there but it's not that bad i can work it off i ain't tripping about it so it's just squishy i'm squishy all right, so I'm about to try this. So this one comes with the three clips. Oh, shoot. I don't want you to come off clippy clip. Listen. Don't, oh, shoot. Don't come in here acting up. Use too expensive at CVS to be acting up. I mean, Walgreens to be acting up. Don't come in here showing your butt. No, you better come in here and act like you got some sense. I swear, this thing acting like my kids. As soon as I open it up, it wanna just be disrespectful. All right, so this thing is pretty long. It's pretty long. I think I can wrap it around a few times. So, I've never done this, but I mean, it can't be too much to it. I'm gonna try to wrap as low down as possible. And this is just simply to get more compression a lot of dials have said this is shown improvement in them or for them before they go and get uh, another faha and all that stuff they wrap this thing around a few times to get their compression so i'm gonna try it for a few days and see how it works oh crap and i'm gonna let y'all know and you're supposed to wrap it tight, obviously. So I'm wrapping tight. 
I think I'm wrapping it right. Oh yeah, cause baby, I can't breathe. Whew. Whew, child. This is not the life for me. Okay, yeah, girl. Go in there and sit. Oh, baby. Sis can't breathe. All right, sis, you tripping. All right, maybe that last round is too much. Cause, honey, what is going on here? Is this going on here? Okay. So, girl can't breathe, y'all. Girl can't breathe. I'm gonna just do it like this. Now, I do have a second one, and I'm about to do that one because I want it to be a little bit more. So I had to pick up my things. All right, I don't think I like how this is wrapped. I think I should wrap it. Can I wrap it starting from the back? That ain't the back, girl. You just wrapped it that way. Y'all, don't. Don't let me fool y'all. That was just the same way. I don't know what the heck I thought I was just doing. Oh, that's how you bring it tight, sis. Yes. Okay, don't leave the love handle out now. But you know what? I kind of like my love handles. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So I might leave them out. But why can't I get it? So, listen, this is a battle. I'm struggling. To all them who act like they wasn't struggling, I think they lying, sis. I think it's something in the game. They probably got a uh, they probably got a sponsorship from this. Cause how in the heck did they wrap this thing around with no issues? Like I've been seeing them just wrap, but you know what? They probably practice me. I be doing stuff in real time. So y'all just gonna see me flaws and all. And that's okay with me. That is all right with sis. I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. Dang it, it still end up in the back. Yo, how we gonna do this? I guess I'll be the test dummy for now. Ooh, maybe if I start, yes, that might be it. This might be it. This might have did it, y'all. This might be third time. Might be the third, or is this the fourth time? I don't remember, to be quite honest. But I know theirs was never pretty. I ain't gonna say that they had it on cute. It just was on. Oh, shoot, don't see the booty. It was on, but theirs wasn't cute. You know what I'm saying? They just had it wrapped around. But I'm trying to see if they was trying to, if they was getting over on your girl. Is it a gimmick or is it for sure? We about to find out. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I knew your girl was smart. I knew somewhere that I had the brains to figure this out. I wasn't going to let no ace bandage defeat me. Oh, no, no. No, I wasn't. But baby, it's defeat my breath supply. It's depleting it. It ain't defeating it. It's depleting it. And so I think I just gotta take this and snap it into there and snap that into that. You know, it's much easier doing on patience when I'm just wrapping an ankle or something like that. But trying to look in the mirror, this ain't that easy. This ain't even a mirror. Shit, this is a funnel. All right, well, we're going to figure this out, though. Ow! Mother freaker! I stabbed myself. I guess I done dug a little too. You know what? Y'all real disrespectful. That might have been the one that was broke. That's probably why it didn't stick. How I needed it to. Talking about no, uh, that must have been the one that was broke, was it? Yeah, of course it was. Don't know how to act. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna leave this part like this. Oh God, you rolling down? Come on now, you guys to get it together. Get it together. Don't be out here embarrassing me. So I gotta talk to my kids before we go into the stores and shoot and stuff. You know. Now this one is a small. It's four inches, so it's only meant for like the ankle and the shoulder. But your girl is gonna use it for her upper torso. Or should I use it to wrap a little bit more around here? Cause I might need it around there. Ah, oh, shoot. You know, I don't like the fact that the clips come off. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I'd rather than make some clips that don't come off. 
Don't 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 make it adjustable for the clips. It's still long. It's just much shorter. Oh yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna start this one midway, so maybe I can give myself a nice little curve. Uh oh, I almost did it again, y'all. I almost started where I wasn't supposed to. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm feeling something. Oh, is I'm getting the backs. Gotta make sure I get the back curves. I don't want to leave you out. I should have got some of that kin kinese What is it? Kin kinesthetic tape. Come on now. I don't need trying to embarrass me. I said it. Anytime we got to say it. If you slap back there one more time, like I'm stretching you to your limit, we're going to have a problem. I mean, it's embarrassing. This thing acting like it don't want to stretch. It's a girl. Them back rows, you gonna have to deal with. I'm not going around them. But it's okay. Once I start working out, I really kind of want to start working out next week. Because I'm, uh, I think I'm going to be six weeks post-op next week. You know, I may have to uh, figure out a better way to fasten these i'm not sure if i really like how they are fastened to be honest these aren't the best clips but anyway oh baby i can't breathe child mm, okay they wouldn't lie there's definitely some compression going on all right now you're supposed to just bring your fire back up let me make sure everything is in order Let's bring the fire high back up. Let me just put it underneath here because I don't feel like undoing the bra. Whew, I can't barely breathe, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, I listen, I couldn't imagine doing that every day. But I can say, whew, it's a lot of compression. I'll give it that. I will give it that. making me hot. I don't know if it's making me hot because I feel like I was doing a lot of work or if I'm just hot. But the good thing is this Faha gonna keep it in place. Even if it try to pop back apart. You know? Well, if you didn't know, now you know. Okay, now don't, don't try to act like you stuck. Alright, there we go. Oh, baby. So, yes. Ooh, Johnny Chubb. All right, yes, okay. So it's definitely giving me compression. Now, if it really truly works, we'll see. If I'm starting to see any slimming of the waist, I'll probably do it for you know a few more days, maybe a week, and then I'll come back. Or matter of fact, I'll wait to my eight, eighth week and I'll decide. Or y'all can tell me in the comments how long before I give y'all an update on if this really works or if you can pass and save your coin let me go ahead and adjust y'all you know your girl got to come and talk to y'all real quick you know you know how your girl do let me just get y'all adjusted all right we can go with this angle today because i don't really feel like doing too much adjusting as y'all know your girl is sitting on my bbl pillow i was about to start cooking dinner I'm mad my two youngest kids are asleep because it's too late. Like, I don't want them to sleep. I want them up. Nah, that ain't gonna work. I want them up because, let's see if I'll put y'all this way. We all get some better lighting because I think that lighting was just horrible. Because I don't want them to try to be up all night. Yeah, just this BBL pillow. That's the one thing I hate. Having to do all this adjusting, you know? Like, come on, can I? Can a girl just sit? Can a girl just sit? So how y'all feeling? <laughs> I hope y'all all right. <sighs> you know, damn side boo, you always trying to show out. Okay, peekaboo, we see you. Um, <sighs> y'all don't know what your girl be going through. I be going through a lot. Okay, I'm gonna need for this channel to to take off, to blow up, because baby, when I tell you, it's a lot. It's a lot. If you, I I be going through a lot, but I try not to. Y'all see I'm short of breath. That's this compression. Now, I don't like it. I feel like it's kind of denting 
it's holding it in, but it's kind of denting it as well when I sit down. So I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. But it's kind of soft, so it's not like when the Faha be denting it in, you kind of feel that zipper. This is softer, so it's not, I don't feel that dent, denting of the skin is hard. I don't feel like it's as harsh, but I be going through a lot. <laughs> I know, I keep saying that. I look like I be going through a lot. I don't know, like, I look raggedy right now, but it's okay. And then today is one of those days where I feel like my booty looking little. I compressed all through the night last night. I think I told y'all that in one of the earlier clips, but I don't remember because that was earlier this morning. But if I didn't, I compressed all last night because my sides was kind of hurting, my back was hurting. And I know that's because I don't take pain pills no more and I know I be doing a lot. So my body kind of be hurting and whatnot every so often. So I had to get up and throw in my faha and even throw in my ad board. But what I realized, they tell you not to sleep in your ad board and I realized why because when I was like sleep I started getting real short of breath and then I felt like one side of me was like going numb so I had to take the ad board out and then I was able to go to sleep but I don't know I kind of feel like my butt is getting smaller even though I know that it's like just a, a mental thing it's like sometimes it looks more wide to me than like that projection that I want so we'll see I know I'm still early in my results. I know that they're going to change every day. I know, like I said, some days it'll look big. Some days it'll look small. And it's because we're constantly, constantly, constantly overanalyzing. I know a lot of women who have had this surgery who constantly overanalyze. They're like, oh, I feel like my butt is small. And I look at them like, girl, when did you ever think your butt was small? Because, baby, you your butt is big, honey, okay? Like, it's not no... You ain't got to second guess that butt. That butt is not playing peekaboo, high, go seek, no nothing. That butt is there. You feel me? Like, every single time you try to play a game, that booty is it. Like, it's getting found right away. Like, it's not, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it can't hide. It can't go nowhere. You can't hide it in nothing. You couldn't wear a muumuu, a nun suit, a, a track suit, a, a rain coat. You couldn't wear nothing. A tent, hell. And that butt not poked, poked through. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know. It's just kind of like a mental thing and it's also it's draining because you have the surgery and then you're constantly looking at other people's surgery and their results and then you're constantly like i said looking at yourself over and over and over literally every single time i pass a mirror i'm in the mirror i'm like girl is you still poking is your waist slimming are you still swollen like i know the swell that's how i be looking in the mirror y'all i know i was that's how i be looking in the mirror but i know that um swelling is normal i know that the pain is normal i know that the the um psychological of this journey is is very normal um so it's not something that uh i was unaware of but i am someone who has had depression or who has depression and i'm also someone who has anxiety um i stopped taking my medications when i was pregnant for like depression because i just was unaware of how that would um go through the placenta and maybe it wouldn't but i just wasn't taking that chance i even stopped taking my anxiety medications you know my doctor told me i didn't need to but i did and then prior to surgery i stopped taking it all again because obviously you couldn't have anything in your system and so i just haven't really picked back up on it um like and taking it or not whatever because like, i'm kind of trying to wean myself to where i don't need it but baby this is a whole process and when you have other things going on in your life, it is a definite process. So if you're somebody who suffers from depression or mental illness or have anxiety or something like that, just, I'm not gonna say don't get the surgery done. Absolutely not, because I will be a hypocrite. What I'm gonna say is just make sure that you're psychologically ready for what's gonna come with it because you're gonna be you're like anxious already prior to getting the surgery done. So you may elevate your blood level, not blood level, your blood pressure, and that might throw things off or you know what i'm saying you may become depressed after the surgery because i know people who've gotten this surgery that had depression and they freaking were not comfortable with their bodies afterward like they weren't comfortable with the attention that they started to receive they were still stuck you know mentally in the old body that they had and um it became to wear on them like it took them a while to get used to the body they have like even me now personally it's like I'm comfortable in my skin, 
But at the same time, I do look at certain outfits and I'm like, yo, I don't think I could wear that because now I have a bigger butt or, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we live in a society where, you know, if you have a curvier body or fuller breast, whatever you wear, it looks to be more trashy than someone who's flat chested or straight like a board. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just the society we live in. But I'm saying that all, all to say, just be aware of the ups and downs mentally that you're going to go through before and after surgery hell darn because uh like i said i was sitting there like bitch bump the gas why am i still looking at your fucking face i should be looking at the inside of my eyelids and then waking up on the you know what i'm saying in a recovery room like i shouldn't be looking at you all this damn time while i'm sitting here cold butt booty ass naked on the table like so you just be going through a lot i swear <laughs> i swear you be going through a lot then I'm trying to get these. Everybody keeps talking to me about the merchandise. I'm trying to figure out my merchandising and things like that. Um, because like I said, this is not a hobby. This has become like, I don't want to say a job, but it's definitely, it takes a lot of time. You edit, you sit there, you have to think of content. You have to find the time. A lot of the time I just record while my kids are acting crazy. So I may have to do voiceovers or you get distracted because you have other things to do. Um, then you want to invest in your channel. And right now I'm trying to invest in my channel, but I have other things going on as well. So I have to, you yeah, already know your girl quit her job. Now I'm trying to figure out a stream of income. Um, and stuff like that and then just like i said constantly elevating the channel and um growing the squad because that's a big goal of mine i've said it a ton of times so what was it a few weeks ago two three weeks ago i was at a thousand and now we're at 1600 so way to go squad we have grown we are growing we're continuously growing we are blessed um and i just want to keep taking it up i just definitely want to keep taking it up um I'm so happy and appreciative that y'all really do be liking all the content that I put out. Like, literally, I just be thinking of stuff and I'm like, oh, I think the squad are like this. Or I think that, you know what I'm saying, this may get some more members of the squad to join. And I truly, truly, honestly appreciate the fact that y'all come and y'all represent for me. So, shout out to y'all, for real, for real. Um, I'm trying to sit here and think of what I'm making for dinner. But, like, I think this damn ace bandage is depleting the oxygen supply to my head because... It's not that I feel lightheaded, but sis can't not only breathe, for real, for real. I can't think of nothing. Like, what do I want to make for dinner? I was thinking about making some salmon. I was thinking about making chicken. Y'all know your girl love chicken, but I'm not going to make the chicken. I think I might do some salmon or something. Some some easy, like some salmon and rice or some tilapia and rice. or What the freak is in the fridge? Like, I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? I might do something super simple, like some grilled cheeses and some fries, for real, for real, because they spoiled up and around here. Like, come on now. That's what we might be doing for dinner. No lie. You know what? We might do some chili cheese, fries, and hot dogs. Do I feel like making that choice? I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> I may eat one or two but nah seriously i don't know what i'm gonna make i kind of just want to make them some grilled cheese and some french fries because you can never go wrong with that kids love that shit um because otherwise i don't really know what i want to make it's time to go grocery shopping that's what that means when you literally don't know what you want to cook it means it's time to go grocery shopping and it's definitely time for me to go grocery shopping like for reals so yeah your girl got plenty of stuff in mind for the channel. Just give me some time, y'all. I'm definitely working on things. I'm definitely working on a merchandise. Um, I'm just trying to get stuff done on my end. Um, I'm working on getting a P.O. box. I was going to get that, but who knew that a P.O. box cost that much? It's like $288. Like, sis. $288? What if I don't get no mail that month? Like, what? 
is you gonna give me my money back? That's like rent, motherfucker. Is is my mail renting a space? I mean, I know I'm, you know, the PO box is me technically renting that space, but it's my mail renting the space. Cause if I don't use it that month, do I need to pay for it that month? Shit. Cause I'd be a petty motherfucker. If I get a PO box for $288 a month, I don't give a shit. If I'm ordering a keychain off Amazon, deliver it to that motherfucker. I want all of my stuff going to that P.O. box. Okay? That's how petty I be. One set of eyelashes. Oh, P.O. box X, Y, and Z. Like, quit playing with me. $288. Like, I can't wait till I get there, though. I can't wait. And uh, some people was talking about um, giving away that mauve or whatever color. Um bodysuit romper whatever one piece you want to call it away i'm going to give it away but it is a size medium and so i'm gonna have to figure out how i want to give it away do i want to give it away in a giveaway with some other stuff do i just want to give it away choose one lucky random person maybe i'll go on live and i'll just randomly read a comment funniest comment biggest supporter like i don't know y'all you y'all just don't know it takes time to come up with things for me for real for real so we'll see how i decide to do it but i appreciate y'all with those notification bells on because some of y'all was commenting at three in the morning as soon as i had uploaded a video so shout out to y'all with y'all bells on you feel me um with that being said your girl need to go ahead and figure out what i'm gonna cook for dinner I'm really sleepy. I should have been taking a nap while my baby was asleep because he been acting real crazy lately. He been wanting to wake up in the middle of the night and cry like, sir, you haven't did that in um, forever. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, I don't know. I think he's teething though. He got some more teeth coming in. And you know, when kids get to teeth and they get to acting crazy and all of that stuff. <sighs> I cannot believe my son bust his face open. I just can't. I mean, literally having boys is like a miniature heart attack every single day. Like, son, why? You just banged your head like three days ago. Then you just bust your face open on the side of one of the baby's beds because you playing too much. Like, sit down. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? My other son, he was in there playing one day with the, the sheets over his head they all in there playing 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 in in the older two boys room and he cracked his head on the bottom or on the edge of his bed that's how he got that gash through his eyebrow i mean pouring blood i had to rush him to the emergency room i was so freaking irritated like and then y'all be running to me crying and whining and bleeding like i didn't tell y'all y'all should be having y'all butt sitting still like Like, sir, what are you doing? Don't run up to me, the same person who told you to sit down, the same person who told you that if you got hurt, I wasn't rushing you to the ER, the same person who told you if you keep on playing and you hurt yourself, don't come telling me. What's the first thing they do? Mommy, like just now. Mommy, Amari hurt. Like running to me frantic, hands out. Mommy, Amari's hurt. Like, damn, you was about, I'm thinking you about to tell me Amari done fell out the damn window or Amari didn't set the house on fucking fire the way you, y'all ever watch The Sims? Y'all play The Sims game. You know how they be standing around looking stupid when stuff that be happening, they be about to die, caught on fire. They be like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's because they be talking to their little sim language, just looking stupid. I see you crawling. What do you think you're doing? You were trying to sneak and get something that I told you not to get? You do realize that humans have peripheral vision. That means even if I'm not looking at you directly, I can still see you at the corner of my eye. Go back where I told you to go. When it's time for you to have dinner, I'll give you a juice. You're not about to be just drinking juice and eating fruit and eating chips all day. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. This whole mommying thing. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe I'm four people's mom. Like, like I gotta be a mama. Like, come on. Like, I'm I'm too goofy, but I'm a I'm not a strict mother, but I'm a I'm not an authoritarian either. It's like I'm not too lenient, but I'm not too strict. If that makes any sense. Like, I think I'm the perfect balance. But kids, will try you, man. Especially during this quarantine, because they get there all day, they're going to try you. 
they gonna try you. If y'all ain't drinking y'all wine, I don't know what y'all doing. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and get in this kitchen. I'm about to get me a glass right now because I just cannot. I'm about to edit this video and figure out what I'm about to make them for dinner. I wish I had some tomato soup because they asses will be eating, uh, what's, how, how I go? A grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> My oldest son would not eat that shit. He'd be like, bitch. Well, he won't say that, but he'd be looking at me like, I don't want it. What did I ask you what you want? But I don't want it. No. He don't like nothing like that. he eat the sandwich, but he ain't gonna touch that soup. He'd be looking like, girl, what did you feed me, poison? He'd be trying me, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out something to make them. Cause it's time to go grocery shopping, which means it ain't really nothing in there to, to make them that I wanna make. Stuff need to be thawed. I don't feel like thawing nothing. Y'all got some suggestions for your girl? Probably not, cause I gotta go grocery shopping. So it ain't like y'all can really give me a suggestion. And I'll be like, oh, I can throw that. I can whip that together. Nah, nah, I gotta go grocery shopping. I'm probably have to, pss, hey, they probably about to be eating breakfast for dinner. Nah, that's some little pieces in there. I might just throw the pieces in the oven. Hmm, that might be dinner for real, for real. Sound like a plan to me. So with that being said, your girl is about to get out of here. As y'all can see, I'm about tired in the mud. But um, I still had to come and bring y'all this content. I definitely wanted to show y'all uh, the ace bandage method. Obviously, it took me a minute to wrap it around the way I wanted it to, but... I'm going to uh, update y'all in a few days or a few weeks and let you know if I feel like it works. And I'm going to obviously post pictures from like, not today because I'm not about to unwrap it right now. When I go to wrap myself tomorrow, I'll take pictures before I wrap. And I'll take a picture. I was going to say I'll take a picture every day. <laughs> I doubt I'll do that. But I might take a picture like every three days maybe. Because I have to make it to two more weeks to be eight weeks, I think. Because I'm, well, I'm five weeks Hmm, I gotta make it three more weeks. So I'll take a picture. Maybe I'll just take a picture once a week. So y'all can see from that day to the next day to the, yes, I'll do it like that. I'll do a picture once once a week up until I'm eight weeks. And then on eight weeks, I'll upload those pictures side by side so you can see the difference. If there is a difference, is there not a difference? You know, your girl gonna be the first one to say, hey, it's a gimmick. Don't fall for it, sis, like I did. So y'all already know. I know y'all gonna be writing in the comments like, uh, -uh sis, I don't see no difference. And I'm gonna be the first one to say it. So if it's a difference, we should all see it. If it ain't, we gonna all see that too. So we shall see. Um, And then in eight weeks, mm, if I got some coin, your girl will do another giveaway in eight weeks. If I have some coin. If I don't, then I ain't doing no giveaway in eight weeks. We'll see though. We'll see where I'm at. We'll see where I'm at with it. Or no, I'm not doing a giveaway in eight weeks. I need to reach my goals. My goals were 1,000. So I did the giveaway for the 1,000. My next goal is to reach 2,500 subscribers by this month, the end of this month. But by, what month is it? July, August, September, October. I want to be at least at 5,000 before the end of this year. So if I can get to 2,500 by the end of this month, I'll be happy. But I, my goal is 5,000 by the end of this year. And then at some point next year, maybe by June, so my 30th birthday, I want to be at least at 10,000. Hopefully I'm, you know, up higher than that. Hopefully, you feel me? Hopefully the squad grow higher than that. But those are the numbers. Those are my goals that I'm trying to hit um, by those timelines. So we we'll see y'all. Make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, sharing me with, with with your people. You know, support your girl. Go ahead and share my channel, y'all. Let me let me welcome. Let me let me welcome. Let me expand the welcome to the new squad members. You feel me? With that being said, your girl is gonna see you in the next video. Squad out.